What's up guys? I'm really excited for today's video. Giraffe Tools sent me out their brand new retractable vacuum. This is an awesome idea and an amazing product. I'm super happy to add it to the collection. So let's get into the unboxing of this. All right guys, this is the package that the retractable vacuum comes in. Let's open it up. Okay, so first up, we got a little picture here. We have the instructions here, and then we have the template. So this is gonna help out a ton when we go to mount this. So here's all the accessories that comes with it. We'll go over this a little bit more in a second. And here is the vacuum. All right, here we have the vacuum. The tray that you empty is on the bottom, so you lift these latches, pull that off. I believe the air filter goes here. Obviously, we got the retractable hose. And then we'll flip it around on the back. We have the power cable and the mounting. Let's grab the accessories here. Okay, here we have some hooks. I'm not sure what these are for yet. So we've got some more plastic pieces. I'll know more about this when I read through the instructions. All right, here's the hardware. We have some lag bolts and some concrete or brick anchors. We actually got a couple packs of this hardware. Another little package of some screws. Here we have some extended tubes for the vacuum. Two of those. This is the filter. So this goes up on top of the vacuum. This gives you your fresh air. And here we have another bristle accessory. Okay, now I believe the rest of the accessories are down in this tray below. All right, we have some more accessories here. This looks like some sort of a mounting bracket. This looks like another mounting bracket. Here we have another attachment. This looks like a floor attachment. It's got some wheels here. A wider bristle attachment. I'm not sure what that is. This looks like a wet attachment, uh, vacuuming up maybe the shop floor if there's water on it, because this is a wet and dry vacuum, which is really nice. We have another attachment. Looks like that'd be really good for a car. And then another narrow attachment. So what I really like about this is there's a mounting bracket for the wall where you store all of these accessories, so it's nice and neat on your wall. All right, now that we have all of the accessories opened, I'm gonna go through and read the instructions. That way I know what ac everything actually is, and then we can get to mounting it on the wall. Okay guys, we have all the accessories laid out here. Here we have the, there's two of these mounts. This is for the actual vacuum. This mount here is for the accessories and those J clips hook into here and then they hang the accessories. Here we have all the vacuum accessories and different attachments. And then we have the hardware again, air intake, and then the mounting for the accessories. So the first step is showing to put the mounts up there for the vacuum and the accessories. But before we get to that, I wanna take you guys back and show you what was actually involved in the preparation for this. We cut out the drywall, we took out the spray foam, we added a lot of blocking, and then we actually put FRP on top of all of that. Now the reason we're doing FRP is because it's waterproof, and with cutting the drywall and having all that, instead of re-taping that and mudding that, we just glued it, put FRP on it, covered everything up. We have a nice waterproof area with all the backing that we need because we have the retractable pressure washer, the retractable air hose, the retractable garden hose, and now the retractable vacuum. So I wanted to do this once, put all the proper va backing in, and get it set up as a nice permanent setup. So let's jump over there. We will mount this up, and then we'll hang the vacuum. All right, guys, you probably can't see it, but I have my laser set up over there. I got this perfectly level red line. I have my center point mounted here. So we're just gonna hang this up here. And now, because there's a bunch of wood blocking behind here, I can use any of these screws and mount it. Now before we mount that up, I just wanted to take a second to show you guys this area. So this is the FRP installed right here. We did it eight feet up, and then you can see we have some weatherproof covers. So here we have a weatherproof cover. So I did order another weatherproof cover for this, but because it was a two gang, I had to order that from the manufacturer. So this will have a matching cover to that. And that way, if we wanna pressure wash this whole wall, we can wash it all off, even with the outlets and all of this stuff. So let's grab a drill bit. We're gonna pre-drill all these, and then we'll grab the impact and the lag bolts, and we'll mount both of those brackets on here.
getting those started. Makes those lag bolts go in a lot easier. This took a lot of uh, planning and prepping for this, but in the end, it's all gonna be worth it. All right, we got one down. Okay, we have both the mounts up. Now let's go grab that vacuum. And we'll mount it right here. And now there's a bunch of sheetrock dust and wood down in here. So it'd be nice once the vacuum's here, I'll be able to easily clean that up. Let's see how this goes. Holy cow, this thing is huge. Okay, there's the vacuum mounted. Let's go grab this tray for underneath. All right, another thing I did in preparation was added this two gang box right here. So I have one GFI and a normal uh, receptacle. This is on a dedicated 20 amp circuit. So I'll always have the vacuum and the pressure washer plugged into their own dedicated circuit. They won't be running at the same time, so that'll be perfect. So we'll be able to plug this in here. We'll hide this cord a little bit nicer once we get everything else set up. So let's go grab the accessory mount and all the accessories and we'll get them on the wall. I'm thinking we'll put them right here on this side. All right, so we got the hose all the way out here. And even over in this parking space, I don't think we're gonna have a single problem vacuuming this. We'll be able to put it all the way over into the passenger side. No problem. So I'm, I really like how this turned out. Also, if we have a vehicle in the lift bay or a vehicle outside of the lift bay, this will also reach it. So it should work out perfect. Okay, with the accessory mount, we have these little plastic pieces right here. We're gonna clip those on top. We got four of them, and then we're gonna put a screw through the backside to hold them in. And then we have these hooks. These are gonna clip in on the front like this. And they also take that same screw on the backside. Okay, so this is how you mount this. You got these two little clips here. Slide them in, drop it down, and then you got your spot for your two screws. All right, we got this on. Now we're gonna take the Hose here, pop it in all the way. Now we're attached there, and that just clips on like that. Nice and neat, out of the way. All right guys, I changed my mind. We're gonna mount this accessory mount right next to the vacuum. So I have a stud right here on this side of the outlet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get my first one started here. And these just slide on top really easily. Smaller ones. Yeah, get a clip of that. All right, now I wanna check this bottom compartment and make sure we got enough room to remove it. So you unclip it here, and then you slide it back, just like that. So I can easily remove that, go empty it. I can also access all of this stuff from a pressure washer easily. All right, now underneath that, we have the filter. So it just clips up in here like so. All right guys, we got everything mounted. It turned out awesome. I routed the cord. It's all nice and neat out of the way. Now, if you paid attention, this setup is gonna have all the water stuff below and all the dry stuff above. That was set up intentionally, so if something was dripping, it wasn't dripping onto, say, the vacuum if it was below. Now, I'm gonna take one of these attachments and I'm gonna vacuum up all this sheetrock dust and wood, and we're gonna test it out. So we'll pull some out. Nice and easy like that. Grab an extension, pop it on. Maybe two, try them out. Then we'll grab this here.
Give that a pull. Put that on. I'm a huge fan of this wall mount for the accessories. Um, with our previous shop vacuum that we used, it was always a hassle trying to go through and find all the accessories. So I really like how this is mounted right here. Now that I have the height of this, I can mount the retractable air hose reel. That's also a Draft Tools product. All four of these products here are Draft Tools. I really like this stuff. It's super easy and convenient to use. So we are going to center that up and get that mounted real quick. Now it is supposed to mount the other way. I'm going to mount it upside down because my air compressor is going to be on the right side. So that's where I want the hose to be located. Now the permanent plan for this air compressor reel is going to be the air compressor would be outside. We'll convert this receptacle into a switch and we'll be able to control the compressor outside with this switch here. For now I have a smaller compressor that we'll just put on the shelf and use and that that's a wrap for everything. I mean you can see all the Draft Tools products on the wall here. They're all retractable. They all look great together. Another thing that I'm going to do here soon Right now, this water was set up over here on the right side. I didn't like it over there, and I don't like how the plumbers use this PEX piping. So I'm actually gonna redo this. It runs all the way up the wall, all the way across the ceiling of the shop. I'm gonna get rid of this PEX. I'm gonna install some Schedule 40 PVC, some hard pipe, because when this gets hot, when you run hot water through it, it starts to wave, and it, it just doesn't look very good in the shop. So when I redo that, I'm gonna bring the water over and down here in between the garden hose and the pressure washer. That way they both hook up right here out of the way. I'm gonna do it a little bit lower. And then when we want a mop or something, we can slide the mop bucket in, fill it up with water, and just get it where it needs to be. So I'm not gonna film any of that stuff. It'll probably be a week or two before I get to that. But that wraps this up. Everything here, I'm super happy with how all this turned out. Draft Tools makes great products. I've never had a single problem with any of their products. I want to just say thanks for Draft Tools for sending this out and letting me review their stuff and make videos about it. I really enjoy it. It's cool stuff. I highly recommend it to you guys. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to leave this stuff linked in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. And we'll see you guys in the next one.